morning dear students i hope you all are safe and fine at your home and i believe that you are understanding all the concepts properly today we are going to learn a new topic and the name of the topic is ocd obsessive compulsive disorder what is the name of our topic the name of our topic is obsessive compulsive disorder these problem is variously observed in respected peoples so what we are going to learn today we are going to learn obsessive what obsessive compulsive this order this is the most important point that we need to know in this time because see this when we talk about obsessive compulsive disorder so very very important thing comes in our mind and the very important thing is that obsessive compulsive disorder is a kind of problem when a person has trouble when he or she is searching things again and again you must have seen people in your surrounding that what they do generally they generally uh, you know again and again they started mopping again and again they started dusting again and again they had to start a hand wash i'm not talk at all about the covid situation avoid the covid situation and uh, i want to tell you that the person sometime just because of this obsessive compulsive disorder they got a kind of fear or they maintain or they you know have a kind of thought process in their mind and they what they started they started to repeat the things again and again for an example whenever they go on a bike they usually check the mobile is it fallen down or not okay so they generally check again and again that the mobile is there in the uh, pocket or it is fallen down got it next thing is again and again you know mopping uh, up the floor they clean the things again and again if someone is coming from out then he or she has not taken bath that particular uh, person who is facing this kind of problem he or she will not allow that person to enter they want that dog just go take a bath and then come in the house this kind of serious is i am very serious these kind of problems are generally facing by the dogs they used to you know uh, wash the door handles okay again and again they wash the door so many people start to jumps and all this kind of thought process comes in their mind so they will do the perform certain rituals repeatedly okay in the night time they will again go and check that okay the door is locked or not even though they know that they have locked it properly but again and again they start they wake up in the night and they say that oh the door is not locked let me check if it is properly locked or not so these kind of thought process comes in a mind it means this is a problem when a person having you know what process a kind of what process when he or she thinks that he or uh, you know some things should be done properly it means in terms of our saying he like uh, i have told you that uh, to wash the hands again and again to mop the house again and again to be over sensitive towards the cleanliness okay they again and again check what's up that have i get the message from my friend or not how many messages did i got so uh, somehow i what i believe is technology also affected the same right now let's come on the next topic and the starting of this topic is mental disorder so as since this starting of the chapter we are learning that what is disorder and what is disability so first thing first thing that i was telling you this ability we know it's an impairment what it is it is a impairment what it is this ability is a impairment next thing is this order that we are learning right now this order is state of mental impairment state of mental confusion right so disorder is state of mental confusion and disability is a kind of impairment right so ocd that is obsessive compulsive disorder 
is a mental disorder. It's a kind of mental disorder. Now the question why it's a mental disorder? Because any kind of disorder is a state of mental condition. So totally it is related to the psychology. Got it? So mental disorder. So what I told you this obsessive. Why it is named as compulsive? Because they perform some repeated actions again and again. Okay? So when they perform some repeated actions again and again, it means definitely it's a kind of mental problem. It's a psychiatric problem. When a person has a thought process to do things again and again, rapidly, okay? So it's a repeated behavior you can say. Like checking mobiles by dialing again and again on a two-wheeler bike. Uh, let us just take an example that you are driving a two-wheeler bike. Let's take an example KTM. Okay, a bullet. So the, uh, the person who is suffering from this will again and again check their pockets and whether the mobile is in the pocket or is it out, is it falling down somewhere. Even though he can feel that uh, our, you know, low holds or our jeans are enough tight that we can feel that something is in our pocket. We can feel. Even though they check that is it in my pocket or not, because just because they have this OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. These symptoms of these, or you know, you can't uh, judge any individual that he or she has such kind of problems. So, um, so these things are not related uh, in early stages. But uh, when we see the symptoms, definitely uh, after some time, I have one to two years, we can uh, assume it, uh, we can know it. But the expert doctor, you may be the expert, the doctor, the psychologist, the psychiatrics, definitely will solve your problem and then you, they'll you know, give the treatment, the kinds of therapy which is required, and things can be sorted out properly. Right? So generally, this kind of people lose their temper soon. They are frustrated, stressed, because they are always worried, worried, and in tension, tension. Mark my words. Right? So these kinds of people who are having the various kind of disorder, including this OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, they generally lose their temper very fast. It means the manasik and lost temper, right? You know that. Tension. Their life is full of tension, stress, which is not coming from the outside. So they'll only create because they have this kind of thought process. Just because of them. Because see, it's all dependent on us and how we deal with the stimulus. Right? If we want our life to be happy, definitely we will be happy. But if we call, if we invite the tensions, worries to us, definitely they will come to you. These worries will definitely affect you. So it is we, it is it depends on us how we tackle this kind of stress and everything. Life is full of different kinds of uh, you know moments, it's full of different kinds of joy, it's full of different you know, aspects and a lot of new things on the regular basis. So it's all dependent on us with how we live our life. Whether in a smooth way, whether in a joyful way, whether in a serious way, whether in a sincere way, or whether we die out, frustrated, stressed, and taking a lot of tension and then do. So we need not to worry about things, okay? So OCD, if someone wants to overcome, my suggestion is that if he or she will not get all worried about things, let the things be going on. We'll see whatever you do. And you just have a confidence in your side that what is, how much you can do, what is your potential. Okay? So these kinds of people who are in OCD, they are supposed to think that there is a need to share things repeatedly again and again then perform what they do then perform routine repeatedly let us suppose if they have done you know mopping of the house they are again to the mopping because he or she is thinking that oh, there is germs there is something there is something like that you know so they are very over conscious about the cleanliness about the particular activity so this activity is like you know doing hand wash Floor wash, floor mopping. You know, so if you know if cat is come in the house and she moves, let's take an example of a doggy. If they generally do not allow their family members to feed a doggy or to 
to have a pet dog in the house because they feel very you know the whose bones will get it on their side and they they feel very bad that they feel that it's a kind of dirtness in the uh, in the house so this is the major problem that the person has always having this odd that is the obsessional compulsive disorder right so if you talk about ocd so generally see that we know that ocd is obsessive compulsive disorder that is what right means both obsession of thoughts and compulsion of actions so the word already says this obsessive compulsive word already says here that just because of obsessive it means obsession obsessive means obsession it means they are not allowed to think about or they are confused compulsion it means they perform particular thing again and again so they perform the things the part they do again and again and they are having obsessions by the many activity right so obsessive compulsive disorder is basically means this is a kind of problem when a person has obsession of thoughts compulsivity of option or gradual formation obsessive compulsive disorder is actually uh, it's uh, actually the anxiety disorder what is it it's an anxiety disorder which is the very tension and stress in the life of an individual a child suffering from ocd will have only one behavior change from the two obsessive thoughts which include any like you know, fear of germs contamination fear of embarrassment fear of making a mistake fear of getting dirty now we feel that uh, this is uh, the dirty and this contamination uh, part is very important in the they what they do to wash your hands again and what it i hope this introductory part is clear to you everyone right now let's stop and we'll know that we'll uh, we we'll study about the symptoms of ob ocd obsessive compulsive disorder So the people uh, are unable to control either their thought or their activities. Just because, just if we can understand here that the name of the obsessive compulsion. So they have obsessions by uh, on their thoughts, and they have compulsion with their activities. So this is a kind of mental illness. When a student, when a player, when an individual has a problem to oppose, oppose this thought process in the mind or not, and they have a compulsion or doing the activity more than a short period of time so this is a kind of problem which is going on more than a short period of time how are activities like you know the hand wash the sounding things again and again checking things that the dog is not on and the other dog is these kind of people are generally check the things to see they want to see that is it locked the dog is locked or no some may have difficulty in showing things So again, it's an important point for you to know. It may come in your exam, go to exam in the form of MCQ. Which form? MCQ form, right? So some may have difficulty in showing things out. Next is person, a daily life is totally, you know, affected with the negative vibes, kind of negative vibrations. So it is a very bad thing that is here is. A person is extremely stressed. A person is, you know, in this kind of problem, this life is full of negativity. Okay, so people see it's a mental condition. So definitely, there will be a lot of negative thoughts coming in the mind. There will be a lot of problems which can affect their life. The disabled people they do not think that about their behavior. That their behavior is good, their behavior is bad, if there is whatever. They are so fragile. They do not care for this, okay? And uh, here I want you to understand that this obsession compulsive disorder is totally based on the things the you know they do with their thoughts and to control to have a compulsion over their actions. So let's come to the next one. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a kind of mental disorder. First thing, alright. Second is repeated behavior. They have attention. They 
perform this and generally check out the things repeatedly. They perform a particular kind of daily routine, like you know, just hand wash, like cleaning, like brushing, like pure work process. So they are, uh, you know, very serious about the contamination and everything. People, uh, this is not to be a regular question right now. People are unable to control the emotion either the thought process or either the activities for more than a short period of time. That's why they, after every day, you know, one or two minutes, they perform the various kind of things that they are already performing just when it is done. So, common activities like washing, counting things like the uh, So they will definitely check it by 10 or 5 times. It might be one, you know, it will be the or one or one. Here, yeah, this kind of thoughts they will get in their mind, right? So washing, counting, cheating, or cheating, checking things to see the door is locked up. No. Next thing that I have to share with you is that some may have a difficulty in doing things out. Person having a uh, daily, you know, uh, person this kind of problem is also seen disorder means negativity in the life and it's affect the daily routine of an individual. So it's a very serious problem to concern. For them, the behavior is not made any use. For them, the behavior is not at all of use, right? So here we understand that this obsessive compulsive disorder is totally a kind of mental disorder. And we understand here that obsessive compulsive disorder may be for long time, it may be for a short period of time. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a, you know, when people need to check things every day for a certain routine, routine that they do, or they make quality of rituals. Okay? So, uh, to have certain thoughts that will be going on in their mind, that's why it's called the symptoms that they discuss with these symptoms. People are able to control either the thought or the activities for more than a short period of time. Common activities include washing hands, washing handles from the door, counting things like rooms and uh, chocolates, and checking to see if the door is open or not. Some of the may have difficulty for this, even these activities. Occur to such a degree that persons feel like it's negative to they have taken on more than one hour. Most adults realize that behaviors does not make sense for them. There is no sense for behavior in their life. So this kind of thought process you can understand. So this obsessive compulsive disorder is uh, you know the thoughts included the fear of jumps, right? So we are discussing about obsessive compulsive disorder symptoms. Now let's come to the detail of its causes and some of the details, right? First thing that you need to understand the is obsessive compulsive thoughts included. They may lead to fear of germs and contamination. Between these peoples, they generally feel that there may be a lot of germs in the environment and they may not lose something. Even if they plant a uh, planted tree, then the mud and everything is supposed that it is a germs. As soon as possible, they have to wash it. Or whenever they do such kind of plantation and these kind of things, they wash, they do their gloves, and they do a lot of things. Right? So basically, it's a fear. It's a fear of germs and contamination. They are having hostile behavior. It means their behavior is very poor, very negative. It means somehow the communication skills are not good. Skills are poor. So somehow the communication skills are poor and they are not even good in the as we think about the behavior. So behavior wise, the behavior is hostile, it means they may be aggressive, they may be you know, harmful in terms of their arguments, in terms of their verbal control, their verbal language. So these kinds of people are generally here we understand that these people are having uh, you know hostile behavior. It means they have negative self esteem. They, they do not have uh, they have self esteem, but uh, what I told you is they have low self esteem. What they have? They have 
knows of Selecine and particular about Selectin and specific Alright? So they are very particular about the Selectin, about the space. They want to solve this we arrange. Let us take an example that you are now, you know, you are in a classroom and if she is or he or she is a teacher, he wants the things to manage properly, he wants, he or she wants the disabled to sit in that particular way only. If the if it is in our house, if she he or she wants a ball that clock, clock should be in a particular place, remote should be in a particular place, shoes should be in a particular place, each and everything should be like like in the same way if someone put the duster in this way. And if she thinks it this way is good. So she always wants the duster, he or she, she always wants the duster in this way. Right? Some rub it very slowly, but if their thought process that some to rub it fast would be good. So they, they will be frustrated to see why it is rubbing so slow. Rub it fast. This kind of thought process. Okay? So here we understand that they may have hostile behavior, they may have poor self-esteem, they are they are very punctual, they are very particular about the symmetry, about the specific order of things. They have less, their communication skill is very poor. Okay. Safety of words. They are very conscious for the safety of their relationship. For the safety of the people, like for example, let's take an example, teacher, teacher, he or she has some, you know, kind of OCD or Sikhamachit disorder. And basically we have soft corners for many of the children in our class. But we have some children who think that, you know, uh, that some teachers think it might be that uh, someone is very good, someone is doing, doing very studies, you know, she is very good. So there is a soft corner for them. So they are very, uh, from the point of safety, they are very worried about them, safety of ones. Next thing they have mother. Mother is also, you know, very mature or very, you know, sensitive for the child or uh, someone, but not over. But here at the point of safety of ones, and they are, you know, very, very, you know, over sensitive in this matter. So that's what a uh, bad thing that I understood here. Next is fear of embarrassment. The people who have an OCD, they are having a fear of embarrassment. Okay? So, if they are having a fear of embarrassment, it means they have a lot of confusion, the thought processes are not fine, their behavior is not good, and they may definitely have some issues with the many of these things, right? So, fear of making mistakes. They are also having fear of making mistakes. They really talk because it's that getting dirty. They are always fearful. They are always feeling very bad. If they you know may become dirty with some things, their dress and so on. Like whenever they switch it off, they are getting so much of them very irritated. There could be a lot of you know confusion or create a scene in their mind for that particular person. Like oh no, they are sitting there, they are going somewhere, and it might be. So they have various kinds of problems. So obsessive compulsive thoughts are fearing of germs in contamination, hostile behavior, poor judgment, poor negative self-esteem, particular about symmetry and specific order. They are similarly uh, like series of safety of the loving one, the young one, fear of uh, fear of embarrassment, they are having fear of mistake, they generally have uh, you know fear of getting dirty. A child having compulsive disorder can not find these all symptoms. Like they are very thinking about the cleanliness, so they are very conscious about the cleanliness in the society, in the area, wherever they be. Next thing is over conscious about the energy. So these are that people who are very, very overconfident. They are really very over conscious about the arrangement of the things. Okay, so this obsessive compulsive disorder is of two types, basically if you think. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a type of mental illness which causes by unwanted thoughts. What? Unwanted thoughts. A person does the same task over and over again and again. OCD is a chronic kind of thing, right? It means that chronic is something which is for a long period of time. 
and this is something which is the small bit of time. So OCD is a chronic problem which is for the long term illness that they Now the times for the causes of this fall. What are the causes of this problem? The first causes of this is genetic factor. Right? You all know the genetic factor. Genetic factor means things like genes, like alleles. You all know that we are made up from our parents' genes, both the mother and the father. Have the mating, then there is zygote, then the zygote is converted, the side division taking place, recombination, replications uh, of genes taken place, and then definitely the zygote form, and then uh, the cell division taken place. After that, a baby started to grow. So it means we are made up from the both the genes of the mother as well as father. Okay, so OCD may be a genetic factor, it may have a genetic factor, sometimes it may be non genetic, sometimes it may be non genetic. Okay, it depends on the environmental factor also. How seems environmental factor? We will be talking about so environmental factor. So, environment may be safe, environment may be unsafe, it may be hygienic, it may be unhygienic. Environment may be Think in terms of psychology, so environment may be, you know, uh, kind of thought process related. It means positive environment to negative environment, or the thinking process of the positive person, where they live. Depression, which is one of the major causes, and this depression can be corrected with meditation, with yoga, and all. Stress is also a cause of OCD. Bar is a cause of OCD. Accident is the cause of OCD. Some neurological problems is also a cause of OCD, right? So tension, stress, depression, these all are the causes of this OCD, obsessional compulsive disorder. Got it? So here what we understand is the behavior addition. Let's talk about this behavior. Tension. So behavior uh, Aggression, so aggression that is like what I told you is aggression and anger. So the people are just because of their angriness, just because of the frustrated lifestyle. I told you once um, unhealthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle is that which is uh, consists of physical, mental, social, each and everything is balanced. But when we talk about this, you know, kind of problem that is frustration.
mental equilibrium. Always say that the problem is correlated with the thought process of the individual. So now let's go on. I will tell you something and I want you guys to put your full attention on my words. Now the point comes what is the treatment of OCD. Okay. So the treatment of OCD is DPT, SSRI, and OCD is conducted by the therapy. And may, if there is a side effect of something, may be a problem, right? So now we need to be more conscious about the treatment, right? So let's talk about the treatment part of OCD. The treatment is first is cognitive or behavioral therapy. When the first therapy, first is cognitive or behavioral therapy. This is a very important question for our board examination in the form of MCQ, in the form of full forms. So, oh, uh, this cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. Selective. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. S S R I. Again, a very important topic, again, a very important point to be noted here. These are two therapies which are given to the uh, patient who is having OCD or substance disorder. Medication is products of drugs, yoga, you know, the journey of the God, the journey of illness, and meditation for example. Right? So, meditation for any kind of disorder will definitely be a very effective thing to go for. Right? So, I hope this treatment part is clear with everyone. Okay? So, let's come and recapitulate the whole thing.
right? So obsessive compulsive disorder, and these things are very easy to go. And again, I am saying it's a very very easy topic. This to this chapter is very important for our whole purpose. So we have started till now two to five things, right? We understand the concept of disorder, the concept of disability. Next thing that we understand is we understand the types of disorder. Attention deficit disorder, hyper. And next is OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, sensory processing disorder, or the spectrum disorder, etc. Okay. So these are these kind of things we have already studied. So with this, take care. Bye bye. We will meet in the next lecture with a new topic. Bye. Take care.